मैं इस देश हित में सॉफ्टवेयर बेस जो अध्ययन हो रहा है उसे मेरे लाइव क्लासरूम से इस देश के छात्रों के हित में मैं यूट्यूब चैनल के मार्फत जोड़ना चाहता हूँ इसमें आप लोगों का मार्गदर्शन चाहिए ताकि और हम बेहतर क्या कर सके objectives at the end of this exercise you shall be able to identify parts and terminals of mg set requirements tools or instruments electrician toolkit one set screwdriver one number combination plier 200 mm one number equipment or machines three phase screw cage induction motor 5 hp 450 volt 50 hertz one number DC shunt generator 5 kilowatts 220 volt with field regulator one number materials three pole mcv switch 4150 volt 16 ampere one number pvc insulated connecting cable one number procedure identify the parts of three phase squirrel cage induction motor read and interpret the name details of the three phase squirrel cage induction motor and note down as on table name the details of three phase squirrel cage induction motor note down the motor ratings next to identify the parts of the three phase squirrel cage induction motor from the exploded view now label the each identified parts with number tags write the name of the parts of each labeled number tag in table squirrel cage rotor shaft end shield ball bearing yoke stator terminal box fan ventilating duct identify the parts of dc machine 
cover and sketch the layout of the terminals. Test and identify the pairs of terminals of the DC compound machine. Prepare a test map for 244, 25 volts and identify one of the cables as the base cable and connect it to the test plan of the street and fields. Attach the neutral wire of the test map to motor terminal 1 and face wire to motor terminal 2. The lamp will not glow, so the terminal 1 and 2 are not in pair. Attach the neutral wire of the test map to the motor terminal 1 and face wire to motor terminal 3. The lamp will not glow. So, the terminal 1 and 3 are not in pair. 
attach the neutral wire of the test lamp to motor terminal 1 and phase wire to motor terminal 4. The lamp will not glow. So, the terminal 1 and 4 are not in pair. Attach the neutral wire of the test lamp to motor terminal 1 and phase wire to motor terminal 5. Observe the condition of the lamp. The lamp burns dry, so the terminal 1 and 5 are in pair. Next, to find the second pair of motor terminal, attach the neutral wire of test lamp to motor terminal 2 and phase wire of the test lamp to motor terminal 3. The lamp burns bright, so the terminal 2 and 3 are in pair. Next, to find the third pair of motor terminal, attach the neutral wire of test lamp to motor terminal 4 and phase wire of test lamp to motor terminal 6. The pair of terminals in which the lamp either burns dim or the wire contact point gives spark means the terminus shows the shunt field terminal of the motor. It is because of high inductive reactance. Mark the terminals 4 and 6 as F1 and F2. Find the armature terminals pair out of two pairs of low resistive terminals. The test lamp burns right in both armature and series field terminals of motor because of low inductive reactants. We have two pairs that is motor terminals 1 and 5, motor terminals 2 and 3. To distinguish the pair of armature terminals out of the two pairs, touch the base wire of the test lamp to any one of the identified low resistive pairs that is motor terminal 1 and touch the neutral wire of the test lamp to brush of the motor. If the test lamp burns bright, then that pair belongs to the armature terminal. So terminals 1 and 5 are armature terminals. Mark the terminals as A1 and A2. The remaining two terminals, 2 and 3, will be of series field terminals. Mark them as S1 and S2. Conclusion Our major terminals 1 and 5, that is A1 and A2, shunt field terminals 4 and 6, that is F1 and F2, series field terminals 2 and 3, that is S1 and S2.